Do you or someone you know cosplay? If so, the Burnett B79 Yaya Han Edition might be a really good machine for you to play with. I'm Megan with Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum, and we were very excited when this machine was announced. The Burnett B79 is already a workhorse of a machine. It's got dual feed capability, so it can handle really difficult fabrics really well. It's got embroidery, so you can embellish your costumes. It's got tons of decorative stitches. It comes with lots of presser feet. It's just a great machine. And then adding the Yaya Han addition onto it, it adds even more. There's extra presser feet that are available for it that actually come with the machine. It comes with the embroidery software version nine creator from Bernina. So it opens up your world of possibilities of things that you can do with the embroidery side of it. It also just is such a pretty machine. Who would want to store this away? It's beautiful. So we're very excited to have this machine. Now let's talk a little bit about the machine. On the screen here, if you know any Bernina machine, the screen here is very similar. So you've got your ribbon with tension, needles, what uh, presser foot you're using, all of that. And then, real quick, it thinks I've got my zero millimeter. So it can actually switch what needle plate is on the machine, which is really nice. And you also have all of these crazy decorative stitches. Personally, on costumes that I've made, I love adding decorative stitches to them, especially if you do gajinkas, for example. I've done a lot of those because it just adds an extra level of embellishment. So you can see there's little flowers, there's snowflakes, there's leaves. So I bet that there are designs on here that you look at and see, uh, think of a character and go, oh, I should do it with that. And it is such a cool way to embellish things. Um, they've also got buttonholes, which... Let's be real, we all do a lot of buttonholes, but the buttonholes on this are amazing. And it's even got quilting things. So I know there's a couple characters that have kimonos that look like they're quilting, or even just you decide to dive into pixel art quilting. It is a really good machine for any of those purposes. I also love the fact it does have a needle threader, which, oh my gosh, once you have a needle threader, you can never go back. And it's got a thread cutter on the machine. Woohoo! Thread cutter helps save on thread and not to mention it makes the speed of your sewing just go so much faster because you don't have to go hunting for thread tails, which is really nice. Now this machine also does do embroidery, but before I do that, I just saw another button that I want to talk about. So there's this little dress form on here, which is Bernina's creative consultant. Uh, consultant. Um, Yaya Han's machine also has this where it shows you all sorts of different types of materials. So for example, if you are making a costume out of leather, I can push on that icon right there. I can say, yep, I am doing buttonholes on leather. It tells me what stitch to use, what needle to use, what thread to use, and what presser foot to use. So it really kind of walks you through all those different steps that you want to do and allows the machine to do everything perfect for you, which is really, really fun. Um, I am going to hop over to our embroidery side. You'll see this little piece right here. That's the embroidery unit. When you're on the sewing, you do take the embroidery unit off. When you do embroidery, you put it on, but we're able to still peek at designs, even if it's not attached. <laughs> so those are all the steps to make sure that I can go to embroidery, but you can see right away, there are seven sections of different embroidery designs that we can do. So there's even a little Yaya Han section with one of her custom trademarks here. So it's gonna think for a second and there we go. There's her custom trademark. So if you really wanna deck this machine out, you surely can. Um, not to mention if we go back over here, there are so many other designs that are built into the machine. So I'm gonna go back one. I often push the buttons too fast cause I get excited. Um, so like this little cloud icon right here, there's even more categories in here. So if I do the little moon, look at that. It's got all of those astrological signs we could go diving into the different designs all day. But let's go back to our little icon there. I can go in and edit. I can resize, I can mirror, I can rotate. You are a, lim a little limited on the resizing, but that's what you got the creator software for. So it makes it nice and easy so that you can do whatever you want. You can put that patch exactly where it's supposed to go. It's great. Then if I'm ready to stitch out, I would press that needle dot dot but the machine's smarter than me and knows that the embroidery unit isn't on right now. So if you are looking for a great machine that is good for a beginner, in intermediate sewist, even advanced, 
this machine is going to be fabulous for you. We're gonna do a little bit more overview videos on specifically the sewing and the embroidery side, but if you wanna check it out for yourself, come stop by one of our Rocky Mountain Sewing locations and we would love to show it to you. I hope that you have fun and happy cosplaying and we'll see you next time.